Hey everyone, so today I have here, this is the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of different models for this one. I think it goes all the way to like seven generations. Uh, this is the second generation that we have in here uh, for repair. Uh, and something I've noticed too, you see this, this bar up here? See how it's like discolored? That actually seems like it's normal, because I also have one here, looks the same. Right, it's discolored just the same way. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, please leave in the comments what exactly that is, um, why it's like that, why it's like on a few different models. I think I've even seen one before on these models. Does it just go bad or is it just a typical defect, kind of like how the film is coming off of like the screens on the MacBooks? What do you, what do you guys think? I'm just really curious. Let, let me know down below. But anyways, this is in here for repair. Uh, there's a problem with the trackpad. You see it's a little bit lifted. It's not super obvious, but there's no tactile bump, right? or at least tactile feedback whenever you click it. Now when I go to this one, because I have our donor one here, see how nice that is? It's a, it has a nice solid click, and this one does not. It's really stiff, for some reason I'm not too sure, but it looks like that there's a little spring in there that actually did actually break off, and we're gonna be doing a replacement today. Now before we actually get into it, and before I show you guys how to do it, uh, we, we have lots of videos talking about information, especially stuff on like, like this for doing for repairs, which are pretty simple basic repairs, but may really help you guys and actually help out someone else. So for, for us to actually get our videos to other people, we really need to help the YouTube algorithm. And if you wouldn't mind, just leaving a like down below. So what a like actually does is it helps YouTube algorithm put our video out in the stars for everyone else to see. All you have to do is just hit that like button and they will help that much more, uh, especially if one of you does it, it really does, we really do appreciate it. And uh, please help us at least get that information out there because we make lots of videos and we want people to see them as well. It won't take too much of your time. If you could do that, it really does help us a lot. A anyways, uh, besides that, let's actually just get ready right to repair. So what we need to do is we need to do a trackpad replacement for this one. And uh, we're just gonna show you guys how to do that today. Um, I would thought at first that this might've been like an expanded battery, but uh, it's not. It's just, there's a problem with the trackpad. The trackpad actually has a mechanism in there. I'll show you that, but let's just get right into it. There's no point of even talking about it anymore, right? So let's get right into it. Okay. All right. So you remove the bottom screw. Okay. That should come up. Nope. No one. There you go. Just come up like that. And uh, you always want to do undo the battery connection. So let's do that. There you go. Just a little bit out. That's good enough. Bunch of screws. Looks like that one's broken. So someone's probably been in here before. Or, <laughs> I'm not sure. So this comes out like that. Now we're greeted with our trackpad, and it's very easy. So there's only four screws. First, you want to make sure that you disengage here. You see this? This is the trackpad. Um, there's a little latch. Just lift it up. You can use your fingernail. Go this way, and this should come out the cable. You want to damage that, man, because then you make the easy repair hard if you damage that. Now all there is is just four screws. And as you can see, there isn't any uh, way a battery bulge can impact this unless it's ex very, very extreme. But this is a very, very hard uh, piece, piece of uh, whatever you want to call it, metal, plastic. And it's not going to be pushing the, the track pad that way. Because normally when you see, especially like on any other type of machine, usually when that's pushed, there is a problem more with, um, with the battery pushing it up and then it can damage the track pad. But this is what we're left with. And you obviously want to catch it because it don't, you don't want to the fall now you see this so this is the mechanism here this is supposed to clamp here's our replacement see that see the difference I don't know if I could show the difference but hear that and this one doesn't go uh, this is there's a little piece of spring here there's a metal piece uh, it's broken here maybe we could fix it maybe there's a way to lift it um, possibly if you can't find the part maybe you do that otherwise just get another one really similar now these are uh, really protective they have a board actually underneath it as you can see there's a lot going on here and there's also uh, a spring and there's there's also other things going on so there's most likely a driver they usually have like those elan um drivers that do go on for the, the touchpad but anyways that's really it so what we're going to do is just swap it out with a good one well i like this one better right don't you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and swap that out and i'm gonna go put it back 
and we're going to be putting this way because that's the same way it was before and we just want to re-screw it in and hopefully that should really be it already I like it it's good so let's plug it back in the cable you just go down and in and just go up to probably about like that little white dash there and once that dash goes in once you can't really see the dash anymore then you can flip back the latch there and the latch is going to hold it and it's going to press and that's what's going to make you have a nice connection now we can put back the battery Okay, and we're finished. Now we just want to put this back down. Now I want to go this way in because there are latches. You see this? There's a bunch of latches go in here. So plug it in this way or put it down. So attached, you can feel it's actually kind of lifted, which is fine. Now we can just put it in this, the screws. The screws don't come out, so don't worry about losing them. Okay, and that's it. You can look at the bottom, make sure it's like lined up, make sure it's nice. And now we have this open, and it's a very nice click. Okay, so let's turn on. Let's just go ahead and check it out, make sure it works. Don't want to really show the name of it, but that should really be about it. Now, uh, I want to ask you guys this. This is again asked earlier in the video. We see this. How this is lit up like this. I know it's a little, like a little touchpad. Is it supposed to look like this? I don't think it's supposed to have this purple color. Like, I could be wrong, guys, but I don't think you're supposed to have this purple color. But the, the one thing that makes you doubt it is this one is very similar. <laughs> it kind of, there's no way this is right. So I'm really curious. Let me know down below if you guys have this one. Well, we can't show the name. But we can show that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are watching this video on how to do the repair for the trackpad on a, on a Lenovo X1 Carbon Gen 2. I think this works also for Gen 3, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's there's lots of different ones. This is the obviously this is a pretty straightforward basic one to do um, Anyways guys if you guys enjoy watching this video, please leave a like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more content And we'll see you guys in the next video appreciate you guys for watching we do lots of data recoveries liquid spills MacBook repairs stay tuned for that and also we do some basic stuff or just some cool stuff if you guys are just aware and that's about it So take care. Thanks for watching. Bye